was the wildest offseason in the NFL ever. All right, so we got to talk about some of these trades. I'm going to give you guys my best trade that happened this offseason and the worst trade that I believe happened this offseason. So let's get into it. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking to some NFL. And here to talk about, as I mentioned, the best and worst signings, excuse me, not signings, trades in NFL free agency. So uh, again, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. All right, so keep in mind, we're only focusing on trades, right? Trades that happen, not free agent signings. And we'll start with the best trade that I believe happened. Now, there was a lot of big names that got moved, right? A lot of big names, Devontae Adams, Khalil Mack, a lot of big names. But to me, the best trade by far went to the Denver Broncos for Russell Wilson. That's right, Russell Wilson to the Denver Broncos. Folks, I don't care how many picks they gave up. When you get an elite franchise quarterback, that price tag is priceless. It really is because Russell Wilson, to me, is still a top five quarterback in the NFL. Russell Wilson, to me, is elite. And Russell Wilson immediately, immediately makes the Broncos a playoff team and also a potential Super Bowl contender. It really does because he is an elite quarterback and that is the hardest thing to find in the NFL, right? The fact that Seattle was willing to give him up, I mean, there's some talk about how he wanted out, and we can, you know, get into all that in a separate video. Point is, the Broncos made it happen, right? They got a elite quarterback with still massive years left in his career uh, to be able to play, and Russell Wilson um, going to the Broncos was the best trade. I'm sorry. It's a position thing. I know it's not fair. It's a position thing, right? There were a bunch of trades that one happened, the Devontae Adams trade and whatnot, but Russell Wilson being a quarterback, an elite one at that, making the Broncos literally now uh, in one of the best divisions in football. That's probably the most unfair thing. The Broncos, to me, are immediate Super Bowl contenders. Yes, I know they're in a the division with the Chargers, with the Chiefs, and with the Raiders, but uh, you have an elite quarterback, and when you have that, any game, you can win any game, all right? So to me, that was the best trade. I don't care what they gave up. They got Russell Wilson. The fact is they still did, were able to keep most of their team. I mean, pick-wise, they gave up, uh, you know, a decent amount, but you still got Jerry Judy. You still got Cortland Sutton. You got Albert O. You got a, a, a still a solid defense, right? Javante Williams is there as your running back. Like, the offense is going to be very, very solid, very good with Russell Wilson. So that was the best trade. Let's talk about the worst trade. And this is going to be interesting because I'm going to explain it in two ways. The worst trade this offseason was for Tyreek Hill. So Tyreek Hill got traded to the Miami Dolphins from the Kansas City Chiefs, right? We remember that. He got traded. He got traded for the following. A first-round pick, a second-round pick, two fourth-round picks, and a sixth-round pick. And I believe this was the worst trade for both sides. Let me explain. Let's start with the Chiefs side. Um, I get it. There was some issues with Tyreek Hill and negotiations and whatnot. But um, Tyreek Hill is one of, if not the most dynamic players in football. I know everybody wants to focus on Patrick Mahomes, and he is still the best uh, player that the Chiefs have. But Tyreek Hill was unlike any receiver. The ability that he has to take the top off the defense and literally take it to the house on any, any literally given play is what made the Chiefs special. I get it. They have Travis Kelsey, the best tight end in football still. But Tyree Kill was by far, in a way, you know, their best receiver. And so the dynamicness of Tyree Kill going away from the Chiefs makes them so much more average in a way, right? Because he was a cheat code at times. This is a guy who could put up like 300 yards, 200 yards, in like the first half of a game. So to me, giving him up, I probably wouldn't have done that. I would have found a way to make him stay. And in the NFL, it's a lot easier than in other sports. No, I know I get it. If players want to leave, what do you do at that point? But man, you're not talking about a bad, toxic situation. You're talking about being on a Super Bowl contender, a Super Bowl team, really, in the Chiefs with the best quarterback, arguably, in football, and Patrick Mahomes. So, um, I would not have traded him if I was the Chiefs. So that was bad in that aspect. Now let's talk about the Dolphins. 
right? The Dolphins getting Tyreek Hill, you would think that's a win for them, but that's a lot of picks you gave up for him. You gave up, again, a first, a second, a two-fourths, and a sixth. It's hard to say any receiver in the NFL is worth that much capital. I mean, that's what you give up for a top-level quarterback. That's what you give up for a top-level quarterback. And the Chiefs did that, excuse me, the Dolphins did that for Tyreek Hill. Now, again, everything is relative. If he ends up making Tua solid or even better than that elite, if he helps Tua become a franchise quarterback, then that's a win for the Dolphins. But compensation-wise, that's too much. It, it really is too much. And so that's why I told you it's, it's a little weird the way I'm telling you guys this, but I felt like for both sides, it was a bad trade. And so to me, that is why I think this was the worst trade is the Chiefs shouldn't have traded him and the Dolphins shouldn't have given up this much for Tyreek Hill. So uh, Tyreek Hill doesn't make the Dolphins a Super Bowl contender. Yes, he's going to make them com competitive. He's going to make them a better team, a playoff team, but he's not going to make them a Super Bowl contender, right? The best thing Tyreek Hill can do is make it so that Tua has a great year and he breaks out and becomes a franchise quarterback. So that's where I'm at here, folks. Worst trade, Tyreek Hill, best trade, Russell Wilson. What do you guys think? Give me your best and worst trades. Leave a comment down below as always. Thanks for watching.